Welcome to another adventure of On the Water in the Woods. Today's program is brought to you by Trijicon, maker of the world's best optics for the military and police and hunter. Visit Trijicon.com to see a full array of aiming systems. Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. Visit us at TravelOK.com. Norman Archery, providing archery products to over 1,500 dealers. Oklahoma Archer, serving Oklahoma's archery needs. Quail Ridge Hunting Association, go where the birds are. Oklahoma Wildlife Federation, one voice of the sportsmen of Oklahoma. Jane Ranch, over 100,000 acres for the ultimate hunting experience. Mark Heights Family Auto Group. Welcome to On the Water and in the Woods. Well, me and Cody are out here putting some shows together, hunting and fishing. Take some, take the time to look at some earlier classics on the water. Yeah, there it is, okay. Cody, take the shot. All right. Looky there, boy. Good shot! You got it! Yeah. Good job, buddy. Welcome to today's show. We got a special show for you. We got Colvin and his dad Scott with us out in Hobart, Oklahoma. Um, we we're hoping it would have turned out a little bit different, but we actually put the birds to, to bed last night and, and saw where they were roosting. We got set up on the edge of the wheat field. Um, it's gun season here in the fall in Oklahoma. We we're going to see if we couldn't take one with rifle, but uh, as, as luck would have it, they jumped on the other side of the wheat field. So we're going to put a little stalk on them, see if we can't stalk around, um, and maybe they'll present a shot. Um, you know, we can still hear them. It sounds like they're kind of in the tree line, but you just don't know um, how, how much ground they'll cover or if they'll bust you and, and sne sneak off silently. But um, I'm ready to get in the hunt, and, and I know Colvin's ready and excited, and hopefully we can get him a, a, a nice bird. So, you ready to roll? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's be quiet. Let's get a move on. I'm actually going to take over filming, and Zach's going to be doing the, the stalking because he knows this land a little better. Um, so let's get into the hunt. There, by the edge. I'm at him. Wait till he turns. When you're ready. Great shot! Brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start.
Good shot. You got it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good shot. Awesome. Woo. Hey, it is. Yeah, buddy. That's the man to teach us how to shoot Good right job. there. Mm. Hey, that That's much. awesome. One of the things me and Cody have been talking about this last couple years is always trying to harvest your own. <laughs> harvest your own turkey, and I think he might have done that. <laughs> Made a great shot on him. Man, I was about as nervous as you when I saw those turkeys pop over that hill, wouldn't you say? Yeah. How about we uh, pick him up and go back there and show Cody? Okay. But you're carrying him. <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks. Golden buddy. He sealed the deal. As you saw, he made an excellent shot on that bird. Probably about 60 yards. Um, and, and that was it. But I hope you all enjoyed uh, coming yeah, out and hunting great. with us. Um, I know we had a good time. And, and that's the way I like to turkey hunt. It's, it's awesome in the spring when you can set up and you can call and get some good action. But then uh, the stalk and, and the thrill of the hunt's always good, kind of in the fall. Or, or you can do it in the spring. but. Uh, I know me and Zach had a, had a fun time taking y'all out and, and doing some turkey hunting and just want to say thank you for being a part of the, uh, the fundraising group for the freshmen here at Hobart High School and uh, getting them the funds they need for activities when they're seniors and stuff like that. Um, but just a, a good time and you know I hope you had fun and uh, yeah. this is one thing that we always like to do is get younger people out in the outdoors. Um, now obviously Colvin has, has gone out and done some hunting before uh, just by the shots he made and, and how he hunts but uh, if you're avid about the outdoors and love hunting fishing go to our website at otwitw.com and click on the outdoor challenge it's for kids between the ages of 12 and 17 and if y'all win the competition y'all get to host y'all's your own outdoor television show for two years uh, so check that out but until next time stay outdoors here's the story Mark Heights out of family If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Hey everyone, Cody here. You may know Metro Turf for their great selection of lawn and garden products, but if you're looking for a sweet ride, make Metro Turf your number one dealership for all your outdoor needs. Specializing in the Cub Cadet 4x4, they'll help you choose the ride that's best for you. Whether it be riding on gravel roads, muddy inclines, or out in the pasture, the Cub Cadet 4x4 is one of the toughest UTVs available. So before you head outdoors, make sure you head out to Metro Turf today. Metro Turf, located I-35 and Indian Hills Road. Well, we're back at the Chain Ranch fishing again. It's mid-October, fish have been hitting pretty good. Fish on. Oh, 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 oh. You're supposed to get those ones in, Cody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, I mean to tell you, is they're, not, they're not biting very hard today. I know, and I'm just gonna get on that one. It was dark, dark fish. You got one? If that's a fish, he is a monster. <laughs> That is a big fish. Oh. Nice. Look at that, Coach. Those are the ones that get free. Get in here. Look at there, boy. That is a pretty fish, Coach. Good job. Not bad, not bad at all. Look at there, man. His whole dorsal fin's broke. Really? 
They sure are dark, aren't they? I think they, they break their fins sometimes when they're spawning. They get up under stuff and start making beds. Well, let me to tell you, through this red spinnerbait, on, you know, slow retrieve and throwing up in there shallow and letting it drop down once it gets deeper and he sure hit it. That's, that's sure it's a good fish. Did you see him coming to the top? He was like, whoop, whoop, <laughs> Nice little one. A good job. That's the smaller fish this time. Yeah, I see Cody, he's been fishing with a spinnerbait and he's tearing them up. I was fishing with the jig and it was kind of go going kind of slow, so I switched over to this spinnerbait. Haven't had too much luck yet, but it hasn't been but five minutes. Uh, one thing you should do when you're fishing with somebody, especially two people or more, is uh, have them all throw something different and then you can see what the fish are really biting after. There we go. Yeah. Little bitty guy, come here. Come here. Let me get this out of you. Those are the fun ones, look at that. Go back, be a monster. You know, Oklahoma's known for all of its uh, shoreline. It has the most shoreline of any other state. And a lot of it's uh, that people don't realize it's the little small ponds and lakes, such as this one. Uh, you can catch excellent fish out of little places like this. Just uh, be sure that you have your right city permit because some lakes call for that. And they have slot limits. Another one fish. Good fish. Yeah. Boy, he sure is fun, man. Yes, sir. Magic bait. <laughs> There's another good fish. I mean, that's two right off 20 feet from each other. Another good fish. You know, chain ranch is just spot. <laughs> fishing, hunting. No matter what you come to do, you're going to have some kind of luck. You know, we have an awesome time, especially sharing to the viewers what we do and the trophies we get to catch. Uh, we'd like to hear about your stories and your pictures of fish and your hunting experiences. Just uh, send them to our website, and we'd be grateful to show them on the show and talk about them just as y'all are watching us. Fish on. Oh, there we go. Yep. He fought a little harder than what I thought he'd be. But, oh well, fish is a fish, right? I thought he'd be huge with what he made coming off <laughs> the bank. Yeah. Oh, how'd you get hooked here? Through and through. All right. Fish on? You got one. Nice. Oh. Nice one. He's a good fish. All right. Let me sit my pole down. Bring him in, Tim. Oh. That's a good fish. Solid bass. Feels pretty heavy, too. Do the honors. Like, oh, fish, fish on. Good. Another fish. Another fish. Way to go. Hey, you know, this is probably one of the funnest shows that we do is bass fishing. We've had a lot of people. Uh, one in particular, Josh from Muskogee, he went to the website and emailed us, telling us that he'd like to see another bass show. We've come up and uh, we're back out at the chain ranch doing another bass show. We've caught a lot of fish. Uh, had a great time, but I think we need to hit the woods. All right, let's go.
That's a lot of meal deer out there on that hill. And this place is covered. Being, we're only like 40 miles from Kansas, I believe is what Mr. Davidson told us. Uh, then you know, we're only 70 miles from the Panhandle of Texas, so we're pretty northwest. Uh, up along this way, as you can tell, we've run into some muleys, which I don't think is very uncommon for this area, is it? No, there's, there's a lot of muleys around. Uh, we've got a bigger population on our place than what most do. Y'all, Do y'all offer hunts for muleys? Yeah, we do a few hunts. We try and, uh, try and only kill some bigger muleys. Right. So we, we only do, we'll probably try and kill Two two muleys a year. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere around there, and, and that's about all all we want to take. Well, there's definitely quite we're, a few we're over. We're trying to take real good care of our muleys to keep them around. They get big. I just don't I don't think there's a whole lot left. There's a few here and there, but you won't really find them just flourishing anywhere, will you? These days? No, the white tails taking over. They're they're taking over their territory and running them out. Really. I don't think, yeah, muleys aren't supposed to be very uh, competitive. They and aggressive. Kind of give up. And, yeah. yeah, they're not real aggressive. Uh, the whitetails, they're just, they're just totally running them out of here. But by Which managing, really by hurt, managing you know. them real close, we've been able to keep a pretty good herd of muleys in here. Cool, that is cool. This is the first time I've ever seen a muley out in the wild. Sweet, man. For years, our equipment has survived the Cody and Cody Challenge. That's right. From the hunt, point, beaming, goal tip, book tech, to the tournament. Matthew, Easton, Alpine Archery, Martin, PSE. Oklahoma Archery has provided the best product and service for the equipment we use. Whether you're just starting or you're a seasoned hunter, we're stopped by Oklahoma Archery, I-35, OKC. Up there, by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. When you're ready. Great shot. Yeah. Brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. So Brad went out and ran to the truck and got the C2 and it was whoosh, whoosh, and No problems after boom, that? Boom, boom, boom. Hey everybody, Cody here taking a break from a very cold, very wet duck hunting show that we're filming to bring you the tip of the week. If you're a hardcore hunter like Cody and myself, you get out in the elements and you can actually do a lot of damage to your firearm. That's why me and Cody brought to you C2 Gun Oil. It's a gun oil that's 100% fully synthetic, cleans, protects, and lubricates. And the good thing about it is it's got a high oxidation element to it that will keep it from rusting when you're out in the elements like today when it's out wet. Uh, especially for you waterfowl hunters, you get out when it's cold, uh, you got a lot, of, a lot of rain on your gun, you can do some damage. It also has a high viscosity, which means it doesn't change properties in extreme heat or extreme cold. So you don't have to worry about your gun jamming up if you're finding a lot of shells through, getting a lot of gunk in there gumming up or freezing up. So if you get out in the elements and you hunt like Cody and I do, be sure to go to our website, otwitw.com, and pick up a can of C2 gun oil. This is the first time I've ever seen a muley out in the wild. Sweet, man. We're back in the woods today with Grievers Creek Outfitters. We're with our guide, Mike Davison. We're going to have a good hunt today. What we're going to do is try to do a stalk on these mesas and plateaus, seeing if we can't get them coming off a wheat field, walking into the fingers of these canyons. 
Uh, it looks like a great morning, beautiful scenery. Uh, we might have to do a little walking, but if you're interested in coming up and doing a stock hunt, uh, just go to the number at the bottom of the screen. This looks like a great place. This is a great place, believe it or not. We're in Oklahoma, and the deer that they have in this area are absolutely enormous. You know, this is one of the most, this is the most excited me and Cody have been about coming on a trip this year. And it is just, we're looking forward to a great hunt. We think it's gonna turn out great. This stock is supposed to work really well. Uh, they've had a lot of luck doing that. They've also got a river stand. They see a lot of deer on the river every year. So, you know, we may just give a little, both worlds. Don't know, let's see how things turn out. Mike, appreciate you guiding for yeah, us. Let's right. see if we can't find some deer. Okay. Got a bug just over the edge of this hill here. Let's see if we can't find him and get a shot. Yeah, there he is. Okay, Tony, take the shot. All right, come on back down. That's a good deer. Come on, take me. All right, we should go on these rocks. Way down in this brush. Good shot. Good job. Oh. Right. Good job, man. Yes. Good shot. Give me five, man. Yeah. That's the way to get into your business. We walked up, started glassing this wheat. Immediately, Mr. Davison spotted uh, this this nice buck. I can't really tell how many points he got. He may be a big mainframe eight. He's nice. Uh, he's a big deer. He's just, really, we were watching him in these cedars over here. We thought he was on a hot doe. We lost sight of the doe. He was still running around, nose to the ground. We got up here. Uh, Cody was gonna take the shot. Something happened. Misfire uh, or something, but you're here to back me up. Misfire on, his, on the gun here. Um, I went ahead and took the shot. Dropped him right where he was. It was a good shot. Uh, I think he's a pretty good deer. We're gonna go down. I think I think he's down for good. We're gonna, we'll make our way down the, the side here, back around. We may go to the truck and drive down there. I don't know, but uh, let's go take a look at this buck. He's a good deer. Thick stuff. In case I do fall, I have to grab a hold of. It. <laughs> All right, I'm cool. I guarantee you can find something to grab a hold. Of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm grabbing piles of dirt and coming with you. Oh man. Laid up right where he was when I shot him. That is a long ways up that mason. And he's a good 75 yards from the base as it is. <clears throat> looks like a decent deer. Yeah, he's a look good at eight point looks like. Look at them brow tines, man. Yeah, he's got some monster brow tines on him. Doesn't he? <sighs> he does have some long, long brows. Right there. Man. Congratulations. Thank you. You did a great job this morning. <clears throat> Golly. Those brow tines are just awesome. He's a pretty deer. Yeah, he has a good medium heavy mass. Not real, real heavy. Don't, he's not quite as wide as what we had thought. He's still, he's a great deer. Uh, out here at Grievers, it's full of deer like this and even better. I mean, just, he was telling us, uh, you come out here and hunt all the time. And uh, you shoot deer way better than this. They've seen a lot of great deer this, this season. Uh, we came out, we were looking, watching these wheat fields off the top of this mesa here. And uh, as we were driving up to come get him, we found the, the does that we think he may have come, that he was trailing. And uh, they jumped up and run off. But anyhow, he walked in and Cody was gonna take him. We felt it was going to be a good deer for Cody to take, and the breech on his gun wasn't all the way closed. And so he had a, a misfire, dry fire, and uh, 
he said, Cody, go ahead and take it. So it was just one of those things that you kind of go at the moment. It's a great deer. We'll get him cleaned up, go check him in. Oh, it has been a great one. Thanks again, Mike. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, man. Look at that deer. Comes the fun part. Anyway, let's go clean him and check him in. Man, he's a horse. <laughs> Take it.